welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solidworks for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solidworks hi today i am going to explain about parent child relationship in solidworks and also i am going to explain about show hide of dynamic references for parent child relationship see here i have created a flange a boss a chamfer hole cut out and many other cut outs on this component so here when i right click and click parent child relationship it shows parent child relationship of the extruded boss one so extruded boss is having sketch one as a parent and front plane so without this sketch we can't create this flange and with with this plane so these two are parents and the rest of the features like extruded 2 chamfer extruded 1 sketch 6 extruded cut 4 extruded cut 6 8 all these are dependent features so when i click on this extruded cut 2 we can see extrude 1 is the parent and sketch 6 is the parent and extrude cut 3 is the child so what is the use of this parent child relationship suppose if i want to delete this feature this is extruded cut 2 and below this you can see extruded cut 3 so when i delete this so extruded cut 2 is deleted as well as extruded cut 3 that means the dependent feature is also deleted but generally we don't prefer that because we might need the extruded cut 3 see here this extruded cut is required for me i want to delete only this so before deleting this feature we have to find the parent child relations what are the features is going to impact then what we have to do is we have to change the references for example this sketch is having the face reference this extruded cut so we have to change this either we have to move to any plane or any other face even while we suppress any feature like once again and suppressing the extruded cut 2 automatically it is suppressing the extruded cut 3 which is not recommended so in this case this errors will happen usually in reverse engineering or when we design something on product design with top down approach then this kind of errors will happen whenever we have this kind of errors then we have to change the references of the parents now i am going to show you dynamic reference this is for parent so usually 
what we do is we right click and check for the references. But we, if we want to see instantly, see we, when we go to this extruded boss, automatically it is showing the parent relation. So when we check this option, dynamic reference of the parent, it automatically shows. So when we move to the feature, automatically shows the parent relation for each and every feature. Similarly, if I check this option, dynamic reference of the, of the child, automatically it shows the child references. See, extruded one, it is showing the references. This helps us to identify the dependent features and we can reorder or we can delete or suppress or change the references. it is showing the all the child references now sometimes if i want to see the parent relation as well as child relation so we have to click both of them see these two options are selected now if i move to the extruded one automatically it shows the child relation in purple color and the parent relation in blue color see here so this option is useful for reverse engineering and top down approach so this is brief about parent child relationship in solidworks thanks for watching